Morning, this is Jason Sen from daytradeideas.com. It is Wednesday the 14th uh, of August. Um, we're looking at the S&P, the daily chart for the S&P. Um, mostly sideways, as you can see, through uh, the end of July and uh, the first half of August, really just sort of marking time. We got very overbought, so just a chance for the uh, overbought indicators to unwind uh, on the daily chart and the weekly chart as well to some extent. But there's just, if I just open this up a little bit, there is just a possibility of a very small head and shoulders patterning uh, occurring here. If you can just see here, left shoulder, we've got the head, and this is just potentially a right shoulder about to form here over the next few days. So it's just something to watch. If we break above the right shoulder, sort of 1695, 1700, that pretty much negates it, and we'll then just be looking at a retest of the all-time highs at 1705. But just watch for that pattern around the 1695 area. See if we get a little shoulder here, and if we do, we'll be down testing the um, neckline which at the moment is around 1677 so that's the point that we need to watch for a break um, and that will then uh, see the head and shoulders topping pattern confirmed and should send the market lower into September. Uh, I've been looking through some commodities um, a lot of commodities especially the grains and the softs have been heading lower um, for quite a while now. Uh, sugar is a classic example um, sugar's come all the way down over the last couple of years, uh, but doing something interesting at the moment over the over the summer months, uh, as you can just see, if I open up this market, open up this chart here, we have got um, something of a, a, of a reversal pattern. So I've put these little curves on here just to show you this potentially inverse head and shoulders pattern. Um, we've been noting this on the on our daily reports. So left shoulder, uh, head, right shoulder has been formed. There's the neckline. Uh, the neckline coincided quite nicely with the 100-day moving average, so that sort of added to the significance of, of that neckline area around just below 1,700 now. Anyway, we broke above there a couple of days ago very significantly, very convincingly. We closed higher, and you can just see we're starting to make our way uh, can continue this, this rally. So an uptrend just starting to develop in sugar now, uh, something to watch, I think there we're getting a little bit overextended in the very very short term on the daily chart and as you can see we're just easing lower again there is a chance we come back to meet the neckline so look look watch for that sort of 1700 1695 area if we um retest the neckline which is obviously uh, which is something that often happens with these patterns uh, that just gives you the second opportunity to buy in if you missed it on the break uh, so yeah just watch that if we do keep going we're looking at uh, sort of 1783 or further really in this uh, pattern we, we, we could be looking um, up towards the 1800 level we've got the 200 day moving average there at 1790 so I'd say 1780 uh, 1800 be a, re a realistic target for this pattern lastly just to end we're going to have a look, quick look at bond markets the Bund in particular Bund's been uh, traveling lower through much of this year we managed a really nice bounce perfectly to the Fibonacci 61.8 um, Fibonacci uh, level which also coincided at the time with a 100 day moving average so on a technical perspective this this all charted quite perfectly uh, we've now resumed the downtrend uh, we did go sideways for quite a long time uh, last week of August and the first week or two uh, sorry last week of July and the first week or two of August was really just a sideways pattern but we broke lower yesterday as did many of the bond markets and I think that's now just a signal that we're going to resume this uh, longer term downtrend so that's something to watch in the bond markets okay that's it for today thanks very much i'm jason sen from daytradeideas.com